Malachi, Malachi 2. And now, O ye priests, this commandment is for you. If ye will not hear, and if ye will not lay it to heart, to give glory unto my name, says Yahweh Sabaoth, I will even send Ath a curse upon you, and I will curse Ath your blessings. Yea, I have cursed them already, because ye do not lay it to heart. Behold, I will corrupt Ath your seed, and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feasts, and one shall take you away with it. And ye shall know that I have sent at this commandment unto you, that my covenant might be with at Levi, says Yahuwah Sevaoth. My covenant was with him of life and peace, and I gave them to him for the fear wherewith he feared me, and was afraid before my name. The Torah of truth was in his mouth, and iniquity was not found in his lips. He walked with me in peace and equity, and did turn many away from iniquity. For the priest's lips should guard knowledge, and they should seek the Torah at his mouth, for he is the messenger of Yahuwah Sevaoth. But ye are departed out of the way. Ye have caused many to stumble at the Torah. Ye have corrupted the covenant of Levi, says Yahuwah Sevaoth. Therefore have I also made you contemptible and base before all the people, according as ye have not guarded at my ways, but have been partial in the Torah. Have we not all one Father? Has not one El created us? Why do we deal treacherously every man against his brother by profaning the covenant of our fathers? Yahuda has dealt treacherously and an abomination is committed in Yashara'el and in Yerushalayim. For Yahuda has profaned the holiness of Yahuwah, which he loved, and has married the daughter of a strange El. Yahuwah will cut off the man that does this, the master and the scholar, out of the tabernacles of Yaakov, and him that offers an offering unto Yahuwah Sevoth. And this have ye done again, covering at the altar of Yahuwah with tears, with weeping, and with crying out, so much so that he regards not the offering any more, or receives it with good will at your hand. Yet ye say, Wherefore? Because Yahuwah has been witness between you and the woman of your youth, against whom you have dealt treacherously. Yet is she your companion and the woman of your covenant. And did not he make one? Yet had he the remnant of the Ruach. And wherefore one, that he might seek a seed of Elohim. Therefore take heed to your ruach, and let none deal treacherously against the woman of his youth. For Yahuwah, the Elohai of Yashadael, says that he hates putting away, for one covers violence with his garment, says Yahuwah Sevoth. Therefore, take heed to your Ruach, that ye deal not treacherously. Ye have wearied Yahuwah with your words, yet ye say, 
wherein have we wearied him? When ye say, Every one that does evil is good in the sight of Yahuwah, and he delights in them. Or, where is the Elohai of judgment? <laughs>